Hello and welcome to this exciting episode of the Daily Video Announcements. Today is October 13th. I'm Charlie. And hi, I'm Molly. And now it's, now it's time where we all stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we all say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Remember, check your school emails and share this link with your parents. Right here. Where are we now for field day and recess games? Seventh graders are owning it. They made $11,000 mark and still outperforming the eighth graders by now over $3,000. They are pulling farther away from farther away, and both grades together have raised $19,000. Oh my goodness, we're almost to field day. Come on, field day, and come on, recess equipment. Go Waves! And what I really like about this fundraiser is that the money is for us. Let's do this. Just a reminder to check your school email. We are less than $300 away. Don't miss out on the important information. Also, make sure your voice is heard on the SJHS News Crew Communications Forum surveys. Take time to share what recess equipment and activities you want when we reach the Glowathon's new goal, $25,000. Glowathon's new $25,000 goal. Share your 10 opinions and what do you prefer? You know where to go. OZUJS35, right here on the screen. Thanks, we are truly here to help you. Please notice that there is a new Stern mailbox section where you can add your suggestions and questions for our Dean's students. Uh, let's go over, to, now let's go over to Mr. Stern. Hey, good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here, Dean of Students, to talk to you about this week's Stern's Mailbox. Um, I appreciate everything that's coming in on Stern's Mailbox. I'm just going to cover a couple of small, well, <clears throat> not small things today, but I want to cover just a couple of items today. Also, if you have something that you would like to submit to Stern's Mailbox, you can find that on the News Crew Google Classroom site. There should be uh, a link there for Stern's Mailbox. Hey, um, first of all, I, I'm getting the question, I don't know where to go for detention. I've received one, but I, I have no idea where that is. Well, detention does change rooms. It's really based on who is covering detention. So if you do have a detention, we email you that day. We let you know. Students is really important. That's a big communication tool for teachers to students, for administration to students, secretary to students. If you are not checking your email, uh, that goes along with getting a layover. You can't use the excuse, I, I don't check my email, therefore I don't go to layover. I don't check my email, therefore I didn't show up to detention. It is your responsibility to check your email. Hey, we had a, uh, a great submission yesterday, and I want to thank News Crew for their outstanding video on bullying. I uh, received a uh, letter yesterday from a student who said, you know, I watched the video yesterday, which they really enjoyed, and they are being bullied, and they really don't know exactly where to go from here. And, and first of all, I want to apologize that you are dealing with that. I, I think students kind of assume that teachers are fully aware of who the bullies are and who is bullying. We don't always know that. You guys are in the inner circle, and it is really important that you let somebody know. So, you know, going, going first, what should this student do? This student should find someone whom they feel comfortable with. It could be a teacher they feel comfortable with. It could be an administrator they feel comfortable with. You got to let some adult know that you are dealing with this. If you're not putting it out there that you are having an issue, you can't expect anything to be done because we just don't know. Um, after that, you've got to let them know that you want action as well. And at that point, we start getting the wheels moving. We have a uh, gentleman in our office. His name is Mr. Tallman. If you have not had the opportunity to meet him, he is an outstanding advocate for you. He is our bullying advocate, and he is someone that will sit down, 
he'll take down your story, he'll do interviews, and you are able to stay anonymous um, until uh, we get to a certain point, and then you're going to have to decide where you want to go from there. Um, but the most important thing you can do at this point is definitely to let someone know. Hey, and if I can uh, get a quick message out to those of you who are involved in bullying. If you were to ask any adult, uh, any teacher, any parent, any grandparent, if they can remember the bullies from when they were in school, you are almost always going to get a yes. I remember who they are, I remember what they look like, and I remember their name. Guys, it's nice to be remembered for things that you do in junior high and high school, but don't set yourself up where that's your legacy, where that's what people will always remember from you. If you don't trust what I'm saying here, go ask an adult if they remember who the bullies were when they were younger. It is that powerful of an impact you're having. You know, to go to that quote from Maya Angelou, great poet, she said, people won't always remember what you said, they won't always remember what you did, but they will certainly remember how you made them feel. Hey guys, you can't always control the consequences, but you can control your behaviors. Have a great afternoon. Thanks, Mr. Stern. Next, we are continuing to recognize our awesome school lunch crew for National School Lunch Week. And now, over to Laurel. Hello again, everybody, and ha again, happy School Lunch Appreciation Week. Um, I am here with Debbie today. Hi, and I'm just going to ask you one question. Okay. What is your favorite thing about working here as the, and the lunch staff? It's the kids. Um, first of all, well, we have a great staff to work with, but the kids are wonderful. They're very respectful, and it's fun. Uh, to serve them all and interesting to see what everybody likes to eat. Yeah, that's the, the answer we've got from the rest of the lunch stuff. So, well, I think that's everything and thank you. Oh, thank okay, you. thank you. Have fun. Enjoy your lunches. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Laurel and our lunch crew. Let's continue thanking our school lunch extra this week and let them know how much we appreciate them this week, next week, and every week. Even though we lost all of the football all of the football and cheerleaders did amazing last night. Y'all did great. Looking forward to our aviator spirit tomorrow and seeing lots of green and gold. Next up, National, National Day. Day! Today is National Train Your Brain Day. Yep, training your brain is important and a couple easy ways to train your brain is puzzles, riddles, and fun brain games. I'm not very good at riddles or puzzles. What about you, Molly? Yeah, me neither. Next up, Birthdays! Birthdays! Happy birthday to students Nikita G and Noam D and staff member Mr. Met. And now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, uh, some meeting reminders. Uh, Partners Club, you're going to uh, have your first meeting of the year October 19th after school till 4 o'clock in the cafeteria. Don't forget to join the Google Classroom. V. NP2AOR right there, all right, to get more information about that meeting. All right, uh, Ski Club, your meeting is going to be Thursday, October 20th during Flex in the Media Center. So don't forget that. If you've got questions, see Ms. Meyer, Mrs. Swenson. We the People, your meeting is going to be Tuesday, October 25th at 7 15 a.m. in room 200. Um, if you've got any questions about that, see Mr. Hammer or Mr. Gutermuth. Um, the, here's a message from the library check your email. If you have an overdue book, you've received an email, bring that overdue book back to the library and either renew it or return it, and they will give you a uh, ticket, all right, first class ticket, so get that done. International Club, you're going to meet tomorrow from 310 to 410 in room 214. The focus country is Italy to celebrate Italian Heritage Month, and make sure you have a ride home when the meeting is over. Sycamore, uh, the Sycamore Junior High Theater Fall Play. Tickets are officially on sale for the Sycamore Junior High Theater Fall Play. The Brothers Grimm, Grimm excuse me, Spectacuthon. All right. The show will take place on October 20th, 21st, and 22nd at 7 p.m. in the Sycamore High School Auditorium. You can purchase, purchase tickets at abestheater.org or at, or at the door for $10. We hope to see you there for some chaotic fairy tale fun so I hope you guys enjoy that all right uh, thank you to everybody who showed up at the junior high football games last night by the way I found something uh, fairly expensive at the junior high football game last night if you lost it come and see me I have it in my possession and be more than happy to give it back to you so you lost something there come and see me I'll get that back to you you guys have a great day 
and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Now for a joke of the day. How do you fix a broken pumpkin? I don't know how. A pumpkin patch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go, go A's! A's!